Hello, and welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. And my name is Seamus O'Grady. And um, so I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, in the cold with my trailer. So this video is going to be about my uh, travel trailer, my wolf pup. Um, I think the numbers and ident identification is uh, wolf pup. The model is 16 BHS, which is the bunkhouse version. And so. Uh, this is just a follow-up video from the first video that I just bought, or when I bought this uh, trailer. And then I'm just going to talk about, you know, uh, the time I've had with it. So I've driven well over a few thousand miles with it by now, and I've uh, been living in it for a couple months now, since uh, November. We're, yeah, sounds about right. And um, just talk about the pros and cons, or just how it's going. So, uh, when you buy this thing, you get a 20 gallon propane tank. And uh, for me to be living in it, I'm gonna, I need some bigger tanks. So, I went out and bought uh, two 30 gallon tanks. So, here is the tank. So, right there, um, here's the 30 gallon tank. It, it does fit in that uh, thing fine, but the straps are a little too, uh, too short. So, I just have a had the strap here and so far it's been traveling pretty nicely and um oh and uh the great thing about this trailer is um this this thing here so of course you bend that down you put a socket wrench in there with the power drill and it goes up and down that's been perfect well anyways um a downfall about this trailer in the winter is that it's freshwater tank is outside. All its tanks are outside. Um, right now it's about negative 10 here. So if you uh, <clears throat> hear me shivering, that's why. So the freshwater tank is outside. And so I did make some modifications to it. And by modifications, I put insulation. As you can see right there, put some uh, two by fours in, some insulation. It's not done quite well, but there's a heating pad there too. And um, I don't have any water in it yet because the hose from the freshwater tank to, to the pump is exposed still, it's not insulated. And I bought some, uh, some small DC power heating pads and I have yet to install that. So what I've been doing is just a bucket bath pretty much. And then I just pulled the uh, Gray water tank open and it goes out right away. Um, so still able to bathe in a nice environment, nice warm environment inside. And um, so some of the things I really like about this camp so far is this uh, outside door. So this door here leads to the bunk, the lower bunk, which you can fold up and have additional storage. So I do have like long-term storage underneath here and that's been really, really great. But um, one thing that I'm constantly doing is that uh, the, the cap were the, uh, the, I think I was told the stinky slinky um, keeps getting loose and this one eventually just fell out while, while I was driving. So you see how that's kind of getting loose there. I'm always uh, kicking that in there. So um, one thing I do like about this camp is uh, you can turn on the uh, these speakers have uh, blue lights in them and there's a strip of lights right there if you can see it All right right there so those do light up which is pretty nice and I have yet the opportunity to use my outdoor fridge but the guys on the shearing talk about the days of when it won't be negative 10 and I'll be able to use my awning and we'll be grilling out here with uh, cold ones in the fridge cold cold sodas and um, um, those days won't come until probably April May and another uh, thing that I do use often is the other access to storage right here so this is outside storage access to underneath my bed um, that's where I keep a lot of my tools and my camping gear. So when I'm not shearing sheep, sometimes I jump on a roof and put a lay, 
lay a few shingles and um, you know anyways I keep my tools in there and um, and, and how it's been pulling um, it's been pulling great with my half ton pickup right behind me call her Jane I'm Tarzan that's Jane uh, long story but um, uh, yeah I got the um, the 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 uh, towing package which was an additional 400 bucks so you get the equalizer um, hitch uh, which um, the trailer I drove before this um, it was a ice fishing house that did not have that then going over bumps you could really see the trailer really move and with that hitch um, doesn't move as much which is nice and um, the sway bar I've definitely pulled over a few times put on that sway bar the sway bar helps and um, and then we'll just go inside because I'm getting pretty cold my fingers are getting a little numb here so I do I do live in here and this is pretty much my home um, let me turn on some lights um, so what I do I'm pretty much renting a lot from uh, from from uh, somebody here in Montana so uh, it's a place to park 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 my trailer plug in and um, and then um, I'm allowed to go inside and use the bathroom or use the laundry um, so I worked out a deal with somebody in that way so that I have a place to park when I got nothing to do but to uh, read books and make videos and um, so anyway so this place is a little messy because I do again I do live in it and so um, after some things I noticed about the about the cushions, um, if you are buying this trailer and looking for cushions that never never get flat, well, sorry. Um, after sitting on these cushions for for about a month, um, they start to get a little warped. Like it's um, like I've 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 uh, switched the cushions here so that um, this this end's a little more compressed than this end. And uh, as you can see right there too, even starting to bulge out a little bit. And also, same thing with the bed. Um, I sleep in one spot, and now there's like a there's a uh, it's uh, the the mattress has compressed a little bit there. RV matches mattresses are not the best. So if that bothers you, just buy a new mattress. And um, because it's winter and it's negative 10, uh, one thing that's helped in keeping the floor warmer for me is I bought, so I bought this nice long rug here, and then also bought a welcome pad. And uh, that's just garbage that I was doing some reorganizing. <laughs> but anyways, um, I do use the stove quite often. Use the stove. Um, here's my hot water maker. Make some hot water, the sink. And a coffee pot, you know, things are a little cluttered, I know. But my uh, my favorite part, my favorite thing about this, my favorite thing about this trailer, is the fridge. Um, it's battery powered, and um, I was told that you can probably run uh, 10 hours without um, being charged off the battery. And um, so I, when I, when I'm not hooked up, I sleep with the heater on and the fridge running. Now I was a bit concerned of the battery not lasting the night, but I've done it multiple times already. You know, you know, sleep for like seven and well, sleep for you know seven or eight hours. You know, unplugged in the heater running for like ten, and uh, it works. Um, the battery does last the night, and the fridge does stay working, and uh, I haven't had any issues with that yet. <clears throat> so again, with the bathroom. Um, I really don't like messing around with feces. I don't like touching poop at all. And so I just don't use the toilet. I just pee outside and then find a public toilet to take a dump in. And uh, with the bathtub, you know, like I said earlier, I just take bucket baths um, since I don't have uh, the freshwater tank completely insulated yet. Um, that hose um, will freeze if there's water in it because it's outside. And then the bunks are great for storage. Uh, like I said, this can fold up. And that's uh, just where I throw stuff. There's a sleeping bag back there um, in case I have a guest that can sleep up here. 
really like this voltage meter on display. It has gotten down to 11 once in the morning, but if I just drive all day, if I drive all day, um, it will charge the battery and it'll be fine. So, so how I've been using the cabinets, I keep my food in, not food, I keep my, um, my clothes in the, these cabinets here. And then I keep uh, like miscellaneous cleaning supplies and some pots. And this one, uh, spices and um, this is like the cabinet that's above the, the stove at home. And then in the uh, cabinets below the sink, I keep um, you know pots, the pot I use, and whenever I'm not using that stuff, I put that stuff underneath there. And um, I think I, I have a, another pot in there and, and some other things. <clears throat> yep, I keep my peanut butter in there, my rice cooker, and um, my uh, bear load 44 mag rounds. So don't be breaking into my trailer while I'm sleeping because I got those loaded. And in these cabinet, and in these cabinets, I got you know just food. And uh, now my, I got food and paperwork. So this is kind of like my office too. My office too. Tools, and then I think um, in, in this one I got um, miscellaneous storage. And underneath here I got, I got my books. When it comes to heating this trailer, I've been uh, very surprised in this heater that I bought. This guy right here. Um, <clears throat> it's a small electric heater it just blows hot air in the air <clears throat> and it keeps my camp my trailer pretty warm actually um, does a very good job up until about 15 degrees from 15 degrees below um, the um, this thing uh, this thing will kick on and kick on the propane heater but if I have the chance to be plugged in turn that baby on and this place stays pretty toasty. Again, back to the fridge. Um, you got to be a little careful on what you put in the fridge because uh, sometimes uh, I'll be driving, you know, go over some bumpy roads, and then I'll open the fridge and and uh, stuff will be spilt, water, liquids, or uh, seeping blood, bags of meat, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I wish there was some sort of way to kind of keep things, everything stationary in, in the fridge, but that's just the RV life. And then the freezer, yeah, there's the freezer. Oh, and here's my motivational things I had up in college. I was a college athlete. I was a wrestler at St. Cloud State. Uh, they've won nationals a few times already, so their team has been successful still since I left, but... You know some motivating things I had on the wall I hope that video uh, helped you in deciding on whether or not to buy a uh, wolf pup trailer the 16 BHS I would suggest this trailer to people so if you enjoyed that video please smash that like button if you enjoyed my content or the journey that I'm taking in life living life on the road and making a living please subscribe to my channel because there will be more of that. All right, see you later.